somebody was visit. He's purring so loud. And he's very intrigued. My neighbors are doing yard work again, so you can probably hear it. I feel like I'm always filming when they do yard work. Oh my god, he's just in such a petty mood right now. Anyways, hello, welcome to another studio vlog. I'm going to put my cat down. He's got things to do. Hello, how is everyone? I am doing great. I think my cat wants to come on my lap, so we're going to let him come on my lap. Max, you haven't made an appearance in a hot minute. This is Max. He is my very needy lap cat. The other, Boots, Boots, which is my other cat, is, he's not, I mean, he is like, his neediness comes in waves. But I feel like this, ooh, your claws are super sharp. I'm going to trim his claws. What was I talking about? I don't remember. My cat distracted me. I haven't really done much this morning. From a part, I went to get some coffee with some friends of mine, and that was kind of it. So I am very caffeinated, and I am ready to do some drawing. So my last vlog, I talked about bullet journaling, and I think I showed what I got at the craft store. I ended up getting this really pretty bullet journal, and I got a few gel pens, which are like my favorite thing, and then I got some markers, and I wanted to do some bullet journaling. And so I think I want to do that. These colors are not opaque as I thought they were. They're pretty, they're like a... They're more of like a highlighter and I kind of wanted something more opaque but I mean they'll do it'll work but I kind of maybe because they're pastel I don't know I'm looking for bullet journal marker suggestions so if you guys have any marker suggestions like an opaque marker with a fine tip Please let me know. Actually, you know what? I think I prefer like the dual tip, like the fine tip and then the thicker tip. That would be great. All right, so I, I'm i gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think I wanna do like a bullet journal spread like week by week. Maybe I'll do that. I need to figure it out. But my cat is just on my lap, just wanting all the pets. So maybe I'll give him some attention first and then I'll do some bullet journaling. spread my cat is still on my lap hasn't moved and I really liked how it turned out I wish that I could do watercolor in this I mean I I could but I feel like it's just gonna bleed right through so I really don't even want to test it but you know what it gives me an opportunity to use markers also, this shirt really washes me out, <laughs> but I'm still wearing it. 
Um, but this is what I ended up doing. So I ended up doing a weekly spread. And I... Hopefully you can see this. Oh, there you go. So I highlighted right here. I highlighted the wrong week by mistake. So... I did another one, so I feel like I need to do another one to actually catch up with the weeks because this week is basically almost over. Oh wait, what's the what's the date? I think I Oh man. Today is yeah, this week is basically almost over. So, a little close-up. I did the writing and gel pen, which I don't love just because it's so shiny. It reflects the light, so it's hard to take pictures with. But it looks cool. So, there's that. I love it. And I want to do another one. It's so much fun. It's just... I feel like it's a way for me to just kind of draw whatever and not to really care what it looks like. I mean, obviously I care what it looks like, but just not drawing to perfection and using materials like colored pencil, which I've been really wanting to do more of, and markers instead of just going back and doing watercolor all the time. I think that this is a really good way for me to explore other materials and get better at them. So I'm really a big fan. So I think what I want to do next is do, obviously the two last weeks in July, and then, I don't know, maybe like a, the, like a 2021 goal kind of spread where I can just put my business goals personal goals, whatever, and yeah, love this. So, right now I think I, oh, you know what, I drew, I need to finish painting the mushroom sketch that I did, which I actually need to find where I put that, oh my god, my desk is a mess. I need to clean this. I feel like I just cleaned it and now I have markers everywhere. So I need to clean this up. But in the meantime, I need to find that drawing that I did. I don't know where I put it. But I'm going to find the drawing and I'm going to paint it. drawing that I did it was in my scanner and I thought I lost it for a second but I didn't I do remember however in the last video stressing about how I didn't lay everything out and I thought I had to like redraw it which I didn't I ended up just trimming the edges closer to the mushrooms to make it an 8 by 5 and 11 because it was originally a 9 by 12 I believe yeah it was originally a 9 by 12 and I my scanner doesn't fit 9 by 12 so I cut my originals down to eight and a half by 11 so I can scan them so I do that but this is it I love this I've been really into mushrooms Lately, to, I want to add mushrooms to my monthly calendar that I do every month. I think that'd be cool. I haven't figured out what exactly I'm going to do. I need to figure that out soon because I'm sending my email out. But I think mushrooms, I'm like really into mushrooms right now. So I think that might 
be the way to go. But speaking of monthly calendars, I finished adding my sunflower planner set to Etsy. So if any of you don't know, I've been talking about it a lot, so forgive me, but I recently just sent out my first monthly email uh, on the first of this month, so on July 1st, and it included a free calendar and a free to-do list. So I've, so I completed that, but I wanted to offer kind of like a whole like daily weekly planner set that I could add to my Etsy shop for people who didn't necessarily want to sign up for my email. So I got around to finally doing that and I wanted to show you the pages. I printed them out. Some of these are test prints because I didn't add, I didn't take away, there's a border on this one which I didn't, I forgot to print it without the border. So it kind of, so it turned out to be a white border. But this is the notes. So I ended up making a series of five different pages that you could print out digitally or add them like as a PDF to GoodNotes on the iPad if you have GoodNotes. And I offer them in an eight and a half by 11 and an A4 for anyone outside of the US who doesn't use 8.5 by 11, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I hope I'm not, but an A4 size is widely used. So if you are in Europe somewhere and you use an A4, did I do the right size? Or should I have done A3? I think A4. But please let me know if I need to change that because I, I just, I don't really know. I just kind of assumed. So right now it's an A4, but if I need to change it to an A3, I will. But the, as I was saying, this is the notes. So there's the note one. And then I did a schedule that has the times. And I had to fix this one because the Sunday got cut off. So this just has the times, it has the top priorities of the day, and then there's a to-do list, and then there's like a little note section, and it goes, it starts at 6 and it goes till 10. And then this is the to-do list that I offered and as well as the calendar that I also offered um, for free if you sign up for my monthly email. And then the last page is a weekly planner that just has the day of the week, starting with Monday. And it also has like the top priorities, the to-do, and the notes. So I am super happy with how these turned out. I did need to go in and fix this one because the Sunday got cut off. But for the most part, they were good. I love it. So I want to do another one like this, but not sunflower, but I want to do like a mushroom spread. And the mushroom spread I was thinking of using was this. Something similar, something similar to this. So do something like this maybe, and then for the calendar, you know, kind of have something like this. So we'll see, but not orange. See, the thing with mushrooms is I can't, I can, but I choose not to paint them orange because for whatever reason, the color orange does not print well. It usually prints more red. 
and I don't know why and it drives me nuts so that's why I rarely use orange in my drawings is because when I do I have to adjust the color so much when I'm editing just to make it orange because it scans red it's really weird so if anyone knows or has more knowledge on why it's doing this or how to avoid it I I don't know I just I find myself editing the color orange so much after I scan in my prints that I just don't even want to bother with it so they might be red mushrooms because I don't want to do orange red and brown which is not really exciting but you gotta do what you gotta do all right I think that I have chatted quite enough and I think I'm gonna call today I actually need to go to work today um I don't even know what time it is yeah I work in an hour so I need to get ready eat something maybe make a cup of tea and go to work um but thank you so 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 much for watching i hope you guys have a lovely weekend and i will see you next week bye